we want to find the angular velocity in radians per second for a particle that is moving in a circular path at 5 revolutions per second on a circle of radius 10 feet. So if you remember, what is the formula for angular velocity? Velocity. We have this funny w, and that's going to equal to alpha over t. Now remember, alpha is your angle in radians, and t is your time. So if I'm doing that, all right, so I've got what? Well, I've got a... We want to find the angular velocity in radians per second for a particle that is moving in a circular path at 5 revolutions per second on a circle of radius 10. Now, if you recall, the formula for angular velocity is W equals alpha over T. Now, when I've done that, remember, alpha is in radians and T is your time. Well, it's already told us that it's 5 revolutions per second. So I've got 5 revolutions per second. Okay, so, so far so good, but remember it says alpha has to be in radians. So I need to convert revolutions to radians. So I know that in one revolution, so if I go all the way around a circle, yeah, it has taken me 2 pi. So now I just solve that, so I'm going to get 10 pi radians per second. Now, if 10 pi, that works for some instructors, some instructors you'll need to actually find a decibel number. So when I multiply 10 times pi, I get 31.416 radians per second.